lovely touch with all the Cork have done it as well with all the subs and the members of the backroom team to wish their friends, their club mates, their teammates well as they come back out onto the field. Damien Cahalan, the last out with the helmet in his hand, it's now on his head because it is so warm. It's really warm and the lads are talking about Keane Lynch there and maybe the impact yeah. off the bench. I think one player, Conor Lahan from Cork, could have a massive impact. You know, he's a brilliant player, can be a little bit frustrating at times that he starts maybe sometimes doesn't go great, comes on, but he has the ability to come on and score three or four points in this. He has light in the pace and I think he could be a key man before this game is over. No changes to either team. So you ready for this? Well rested? You ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, here we go. And off we go with Luke Mead. Kyle Hayes. Hayes trying to get away from Brian Roach. And Roach is quick. Hayes did well. Peter Casey. Casey has lost the stick. Hand pass to Cahill O'Neill. And this is for the lead from Cahill O'Neill. And he has... No. The point umpire, you can see on the near side, was going for the, the white flag, but the chap on the other side was convinced that it had gone wide. So that's their eighth wide in total. Oh, dear, the Burns. What a catch. Cahill O'Neill and Burns still going. He should score from here. And he has. But not this time was in the affirmative from the umpire who'd gone behind the goal. White flag goes up. Now the ref is going in. I don't, think he, don't know if he's happy with this. Uh oh. Uh, it's an unbelievable catch. Let's see. No, he's actually having a word with Patrick Horgan. This is all happening now. I don't know. Or what, Patrick. Yeah. Or Patrick, Patrick Collins, Collins, excuse yeah. me. I'm not sure what is that is about. Oh, it was a brilliant score, what a catch, a brilliant one too, we made it look easy, but it was probably the score of the game so far. So the referee did write something down there, Patrick Collins was consulted about something, maybe warned about being a bit slow on the fuckouts, but he hasn't been slow on the fuckouts, anyway look, let's follow Tom Morrissey, Tim O'Mahony trying to pick up the ball, a real scrap for possession, this is Ger Mellerick. That was Jared Mellerick from Middleton. First half, by the way, shooting from play. This has changed a little bit. Um, Limerick 55%, Cork 71. They were the numbers at half time. Limerick down at 55. Darrow Donovan started the first half so well, and he needs to mind himself here. And he's given it straight to Luke Mead. Off he goes, Mead. Suffered a couple of knocks in the first half. Didn't want to shoot. There's a good shape on that. Patrick Horgan now. Horgan collides with Mike Casey, who's on a yellow card, remember? Horgan scores. Three Limerick players, by the way, on yellows. Casey, Burns and Hayes. I think in the first half I said two. Happy to confirm it's three. Yeah, brilliant uh, ball by Luke Mead in there. And Patrick Horgan swivels away. Mike Casey is going to have to be very careful, as you say there. Uh, on the yellow inside in that full back line. That's a great score from Patrick Horgan. Eight for him now. Aaron Galan. Some magic moments in the first half. Kyle Hayes. Now, that is for Seamus Flanagan. And it's the type of ball he loves. He's there. Oh, Catalan has taken it off it. Flanagan just slipped. Dara Fitzgibbon of Cork. Seamus Harnady. Harnady has space able to have a look up the field and here is Shane Kingston Kingston couldn't bring it under control credit Dan Morrissey for putting him off Dan Morrissey an incredible defender his power just his great skill there by Damien Callan got it up and gave it away but Morrissey just unbelievable in those 50-50 balls now Brian Hayes coming in already three and a half minutes in Brian Roach has gone off Will they shuffle things around a little bit? Or we'll see. Brian Hayes got the late goal against Tipperary, you'll remember. And Parky Quaid, Jerry Mellerick. The Limerick supporters thought there was a foul in there. There wasn't, but they've got a line ball. It's a good battle between Mellerick and Tom Morrissey. 
our old Hegarty. Declan Hannan, beautiful strike, and it never left, never deviated from its line. Gorgeous from Declan Hannan. Yeah, great play, great vision by Hegarty. Little one-handed flick over the top, and we've seen Declan Hannan do that so many times in the past. Great leader, and uh, they're going to need that half-back line to stay on top because uh, Cork looking very strong inside when they get it past him. Oh, that's Kyle Hayes on the end of Collins's puck out, didn't get remotely near its target. Garrod Hegarty in towards Galan. He's juggling with it. Surprised he didn't win it first time. And it's a free out. Aaron Galan has been penalised. And the Cork players delighted for Sean O'Donoghue. Yeah, great ball by Hegarty. Galan was looking for not like him not to catch it first time. You can see he's just grabbed the hurl there of Sean O'Donoghue. Good pick up there by James Owens. See it here? He's holding his hurl. Oh, that's as clear as day. Dermot Burns. Couldn't have hit that any harder. Didn't need to. That's some score. And that's three points from the halfback then in the second half. Two from Burns, one from Hannon. And I mentioned it before the game. You know, that Cork half forward line. Um, we'll have to clamp down on those lads because they will score from anywhere. Yeah, well, the two, remember I mentioned about the two Clare wingbacks scoring six points from play in the match at Ennis last weekend. And Limerick have their tails up. Rob Downey continuing his personal duel with Garold Hegarty. That's a court ball. And, well, the duel turning in a different direction. Cameron now. So they just need to cool it. I think Downey's just looking at the two of them down there. He's a little bit taller than Garold Haggerty. He's a giant as well. And the lines man is getting them to bring it back. Yeah, it's quite a distance. But I think the referee had brought it forward because of the descent. So did a cross wire there, I think, between the officials. Yeah, that was on. So now, Patrick Collins. Well, that was shorter, but it worked out. Jackie Hogan getting rid of it. Here's Rob Downey. He'll be fired up now. Four Limerick men after him. A fifth in front of him. They've turned it over. Cahal O'Neill. Dermot Burns spins back around. Declan Hannan came at him at 100 miles an hour. Oh, dear. Cahal O'Neill. It's a gift for Dara Fitzgibbon. And Fitzgibbon converts. Well, Cahal O'Neill put his head in his hands the minute he did this. Yeah, gift. Gareth Dar Dar given his third point. Bad mistake. Limerick one in front. Oh, big turnover. Cahal O'Neill. Now he's got under that. And Aaron Galan is just waiting to make his move. And that has to be a penalty. It is a penalty. It is a penalty for Limerick. This is some tussle, Darren, between the two lads. Sean O'Donoghue, the guilty party, and he's got a yellow card. What was amazing was Galan. He stood motionless as the ball was in the air, and all of a sudden, as it got close, he started to try and wriggle away. I think there was very little in that, Darren, to be fair. Um, 50-50 ball again there but I think you watch Galan's left hand again he's pulling that he's so strong he's good at that but uh, I do not going to give a penalty there so it'll be Dermot Burns to take the penalty we saw a brilliant save in the Pakenny Dublin match earlier on all the things this fella and the rest of his teammates for Limerick have done and won on this remarkable run. Their spirit, their heart, it's all been questioned. Burns, what a penalty, wow! Patrick Collins hardly saw that as it went past him. 3.15 to 20. Now I think there's another yellow card here, Damien Cahillan. He wasn't happy about the penalty being given. He had a word with the ref. And that's two of their full backline yellows. But what a penalty, what a rocket, what a player this man is. That is just unstoppable, right up into the top corner of the net. 
just what he had to do with the stick to manoeuvre it, to get it to go off the front of the boss at that angle. Brilliant. Kingston has got it for Cork. They're four down and they need a reply. Oh, and that's kept in play. Oh, just wide. Oh, my word. That is just wide from Tim O'Mahony. Oh. That was a great chance. Brilliantly kept in by Brian Hayes, I think it was. Look at the flick back here. And he pulled one handed at it just outside the post. We've only been playing for 10 minutes in the second half. We're already in the territory where you don't want this to end. There's still a long way to go. Kieran Joyce. Now it's Decky Dalton. He wound up for that Dalton. He's a long range free specialist. He's missed that one though from open play. It's all about decision making now. That there's so much pressure on the players out there. We're taking those long range pot shots. Grand if to go over, but Cork very dangerous inside. Should we get more ball in? Kyle Hayes was following up after that. Uh, Tom Morrissey on hand to assist. Clever back to Aaron Galan. Now we are right behind this, and that has just drifted wide at the end. The, the breeze, it's not significant at all, really, looking at the way the flags are fluttering down on the sideline. Nine wides for Limerick. Sean O'Donoghue. Tim O'Mahony. So this is the penalty again, Michael. Yeah, that's Gal yeah see, Galan holding the hurl. The arm is in around him, but he's holding the hurl as well. I think that's 50-50. I wouldn't have given the penalty. I said it a few minutes ago, but okay. the, ref, the ref is a longer away. He doesn't have to replay. Yeah. So Decky Dalton wants some movement. And he didn't get significant enough movement from his teammates. A scrap on the ground. That could be awkward. Tim O'Mahony is in there for Cork. Decky Dalton, too. Luke made at the back of it, it's a free in for Cork to Mamahani, whose Dalton ended up on the ground. Tipperary are starting to come back. Waterford still lead by five. And here's the way things have <laughs> shifted around again. Just, yeah, bear that in mind, okay? The top and the bottom bit are certain. It'll change it's, again, it's worth sure. And again, and again. Patrick Horgan. Lovely. So that goal separates the two teams, and I just wonder, are we going to see Keane Lynch? Here's John Kiley again. We've a stoppage at the minute. That's Rob Downey. This is next weekend. Tyrone Armagh, huge match. Saturday game with Damien. Saturday night and then that feast of football on the Sunday. Pep and Castle Bar for the Mayo Loud match. But anyway, that's a long way away, a lifetime away. Patrick Horgan off the Limerick tuck out. That was too fancy. Darrow O'Donovan right down the middle. O'Donovan. Flips the ball between the posts.